and welcome back everyone. Okay, we've been talking Fiesta all morning. Now with Fiesta comes party after party after party and sometimes drink after drink after drink. And officers will be out and looking for anyone who makes the horrible decision to get behind the wheel afterwards. DWI attorney Hector Gonzalez the third is here with very very important information. It could not be better timing. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Thank you for, you're going to inform us a little bit, enlighten us a little bit. Now, a lot of people have heard about the no refusal law. Mm -hmm. Now, this does have to do with if you get pulled over on suspicion of, of DUI, DWI. What does the no refusal law really mean, Hector, and how does it impact all of us here in San Antonio? That's kind of a misconception. Um, I have clients come into the office quite often and they believe or they think that no refusal means that you can't refuse, that you have no rights, that you uh, can't do anything other than what the officer is telling you and to that's, do. And that's what I assumed as well. Yeah, that's what people assume. Okay, so what's the truth? The truth is we, we all have the same rights. Our constitutional rights are always there. Um, I tell friends all the time, you have the right to re remain silent, use it. Um, I, I tell people if they get pulled over, uh, by all means be polite to the officer. Don't be rude, he's doing his job or mm -hmm. she's doing her job. Uh, if they think you've been drinking, they're going to want you to do tests. Uh, you do have the right to refuse those tests. Okay. So I tell people, you don't have to do them, don't do them. Don't give them any more evidence than you need to. And of course, the best thing to do is never get behind the wheel at all. But if you do find yourself in that unfortunate situation, what do you need to do exactly? I know you say you have the right to not say anything, but what will happen then if you do decide to remain silent? What most police officers will do, especially during Fiesta right now, is if they pull you over and they think you've been drinking, they smell it on you, they're going to arrest you. Okay. Um, they're going to ask you to do the test, they're going to ask you questions about where you've been, but they're going to arrest you anyway. You're going downtown, they're not going to release you and put you back on the road. Right, so just know that there will be repercussions for There refusing. will be repercussions, but you got to also remember if you're accused of DWI, doesn't mean you're guilty of DWI, you're just being charged with the offense. Okay, there are also some other very important things we want people to know, and again, this applies during Fiesta too. A lot of uh, people take their children with them. They take their kids out to Fiesta events, Fiesta yes. parties. Maybe they make, again, the bad decision to have a drink and get behind the wheel. Now, if you are caught with your children in the car, anyone underage, what happens? It's very serious. I have a lot of clients that come in, they've gone to a Spurs game usually, or they go to a, a baseball game. Uh, dad's had a drink or two, and they get the kids in the car, they go home. If you get pulled over, you're going to get charged with a felony. It's a state jail felony to have a child under the age of 15 in the car if you've been drinking. Really? So, so it's very serious. So that is that is just the law. If you are caught and you are suspected mm -hmm. of drinking, what happens then if you are caught with kids 15 or under? Again, it's a felony. You it's a state right jail. Uh, they're going to arrest you. They're going to impound your car. you got to bond out. And the DA's office here in Bear County is very, very aggressive on mm. prosecuting these cases because they don't want people driving of course with not. A, you know, alcohol in their system with their kids in the car. Clearly, clearly. Sure. Okay, I want to talk to you a little bit about texting and driving. You <laughs> hear about it all the time, all of the accidents, a lot of them associated with younger drivers. They tend to do that more often. Mm -hmm. see adults too. Yes. But what are the laws right now when it comes to texting and driving? What happens if you're caught doing this and driving down the road? The, the basics of the law are if you're caught texting and driving, it's a Class C offense. It's a ticket. Um, you're not going to go to jail for it. They're not going to impound your car for it. It is a ticket. You shouldn't do it. It's very dangerous. Right. But the, I guess the, the implications from that are a little bit different because a lot of people who I have as clients for DWI get pulled over because they're texting. They're texting. They're, they weave a little bit. Officer pulls them over to check them out. They've been drinking. And now we've gone from just a texting Class C offense uh, to a DWI offense. So all of it is a bad idea. Never get behind the wheel after a drink and just wait until you stop. Exactly. Call a, text cab, on your phone. call a cab. Call a friend. Something. Have someone text for you. Just don't text right? while you're Bluetooth. driving. Bluetooth. Yeah. Okay. If you need more information, or you are in a situation <clears throat> that nobody wants to be in, please give Hector a call. 495-9999. He is extremely extremely knowledgeable. He can help you out. And here's his website. Get Hector now. Com. Easy to remember, <laughs> Easy Hector. To remember. I like your style. Great website. And do you have a special offer for our viewers? We do. If uh, somebody has any kind of troubles with the law during Fiesta, uh, they call in. We'll give them a, a free case evaluation. Okay. We'll talk to them. We won't charge them. Uh, these cases are pretty complex. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, there are defenses to these. Again, you're innocent until proven guilty in a courtroom. And you're there to make sure and that we're they're here taken to, care of. To make sure their rights are defended. Thank you, Hector. Sure. Happy Fiesta. Same to you. All right, and coming up after the break, we've got our Facebook questions of the day and a whole lot of other good stuff. So stay with us. We'll be right back.